Hey guys, and welcome to another bullet journal video. If you are new here, my name is Sheena. Welcome to the channel. You can easily subscribe by clicking the red button below. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your support. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so it seemed like August kind of flew by, but I would say it was a pretty productive month. And it was definitely a special month for me because I've officially gone into a freelancer contractor status. And I am just so happy and so proud um, because it's something I've always wanted. I've been working really hard to do. So I'm glad that the time is finally here. So for August, we did a um, I guess travel, wanderlust type of theme. And as usual, I'm going to flip through and show you the progress. And that's it. So this is my final week in August. So this page that you guys saw here was just me kind of messing around and trying to figure out a layout to get me inspired. Um, because like I mentioned, I'm becoming a freelancer. And so I want to list out things that I thought would be helpful um, getting started on this journey. But I may scrap this layout and do one that's a bit more um, like comprehensive, but I'll let you guys know how that turns out. And now we are ready for September's spread. September is definitely one of my favorite months because fall is going to start and I love the fall season so much. For this theme, I decided to go with the book Where the Wild Things Are by Morris Sendak. Um, Dustin and I sat down and watched the movie the other night and it was so adorable and it just kind of reminded me how much I did love the book and the whole concept and so I went ahead and did my stencils because we all know the wild monsters are a bit more um, complex to draw so I found a lot of my ideas online and off of Pinterest and I'm really excited to time lapse through this with you guys and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So I hope you guys enjoy it and this is where the time lapse begins.
All right, guys, so before we finish up this spread, I want to take a moment to thank our video sponsor, Skillshare. You guys know that I have been working with Skillshare for quite a few months now and also use Skillshare before they reach out to me. If you're unaware of what they are, they are an online learning community with thousands of classes to teach you anything from photography to business management to even what I'm interested in right now, which is illustration. They even have a premium subscription, which gives you unlimited access to high quality video if you want to take that extra dip into more material. And the best thing about Skillshare, you guys, is that they are less than $10 a month and you can jump into any category that you would like. Now, since I'm collaborating with Skillshare a bit more lately, I wanted to make sure that in each video, I'm highlighting what I am learning now. So since I've had more free time, I've been getting back into drawing, which I really enjoy. And I'm looking into doing more digital illustration so I can do things like um, illustrations on top of my YouTube videos and even doing stencils for new stickers. And two artists that I've been really into lately um, are Vashti Harrison. She is like a children's book illustrator and I love her content. And then there's Olympia Zagnoli, which is probably an illustrator that you guys have seen quite a bit um, in different publications. And I've definitely seen her work all over New York. So if you guys are interested and would like to check out Skillshare, they're offering a two month free trial to the first 500 people that click the link below. So be sure to check that out and let me know what you're studying on the platform.
right guys, here is the finished spread. I am pretty happy with it overall. So here on the first page we have, and the walls became the world around. And so of course I like to do quotes that relate to my theme. So I just went and Google these. Um, I did have a little mishap over here. I'm so upset about this, but I was erasing like a crazy person and then ripped the page. Um, yeah, I need to remind myself to slow down. So I just took some washi tape and covered that up. We have our monthly cow the habit tracker so I'm doing something a little bit different than what I normally do decided to shake things up and I'm pretty happy with it and over here I have draw because I am doing the sketch a day um, challenge so I've been doing it since August hence why I'm using Skillshare so much for those illustration classes so I'm hoping to draw every day in September and let me know if you guys want me to share that as well here I have my YouTube spread. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put in here just yet, so I'm leaving this blank. Um, just because previous layouts haven't worked out, so I didn't want to, you know, jump the gun and do something that doesn't work. I have my list and notes page and a cute little sailboat. And then this is my first weekly spread, which I'm really happy about. And then down here it says, let the wild rumpus start, which again, another quote from the book or the movie. So I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. I think the spread came out really cute and I'm really happy with it. I was able to invest a bit more time. So um, yes, it did take me a little bit longer, but nowadays I have a little bit more time on my hands. So I figured why not do something a little bit more fun and lively. So that's it, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your comments below or if you have any questions for me. And of course, be sure to check out Skillshare and let me know what you're into this month. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.